Isn't the adagio for strings the perfect music to go through a fog bank, a fog bank in? You know, it signifies the transition from one state of affairs to another state of affairs. And there's a note of optimism by the soaring violins and all of that, that the other side of this transition of the fog is going to be something positive. But there's also a hint of sadness in what you're leaving behind. Ah, it's just uh, wonderful music for going through a fog bank in. Oh, there's probably 300, maybe 400 meters of visibility. So I can see very well. I've, and I'm ready for anything that happens. I should probably put the engine on at idle anyway, so I could always maneuver. If Because I'm in a place where a bunch of ships come through here, not just sailboats. Anyway, Adagio for strings in a fog bank. Nothing beats that. Isabel is a sailing vessel 12 meters by 4 meters with 2 meters of draft, uh, just inside the breakwater, looking for a berth for two nights. Yeah, right, that's right. Proceed to point in three, it, um, into the marina beside the castle, okay? Happy place to see you, number three. Roger that, uh, I'll try to find it, point on three. Thank you. Come. ho as we say in the night day. Tally ho on your front. Good morning, very kind of you. Yes, this is my Nakonia, go ahead. You're by yourself? Yes. This is so cool. If you get a chance to look at a website called The Sailing Frenchman, he had a strange encounter with some pilot whales. And he said it was because he was playing some techno music by an artist called Roan. And I have put that same music on. <laughs> and look who has come, oh, popped up right next to me. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? So sailing Frenchman. You were right. It was the music. Roan. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Right next to my boat. At least got a baby with him. Look at that. I know some of you are gonna say this is just a typical whale sighting. They when I first saw the pod, they were about 500 meters away going the other direction. And I turned the music on. And here they, they came over to see me. That is super, super cool. All right, those aren't small ones. Well, I thought that was a baby, it wasn't. That was the aft end. <laughs> I don't know what kind of whales those are. I'll have to look it up. Two of them. That's, 
40 meters away. Fantastic. They're circling me. There he is, about to broach. Look at that. Oh, he's turned toward the boat. That's 20 meters away. He's turning across the bow. And there's another one. Look at that, they are circling me. Goodness. Oh. Should I, should I turn the music off? That might not be a bad idea. Isabel has some boyfriends. <laughs> They've been here now for 45 minutes. They're a bit shy. They don't come too, too close. Well, they come close, but they don't stay. They don't linger. They, they just circle. Well, you don't see that every day. Thank you, whales. In the absence of wind, you put on quite a show. That was simply spectacular. Oh. I ask you, is this the same ocean that I was filming whales in an hour and 15 minutes ago, uh, not 10 miles from here? The Bay of Biscay showing off a bit. Oh, 24 knots, 25 knots uh, apparent. I'm doing 5.8 knots. I had a double reef in the main and I partially furled the Genoa. Here's where you'd really love to have that inner force day with a flattened solent or. Ah, I really need one. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to show you a glimpse of. Uh, the Bay of Biscay when uh, she gets a little bit angry. Good morning. It is uh, coming up on two o'clock in the morning. And uh, a question that I get quite often is, what kind of a sleep schedule do you maintain uh, while you're at sea? Uh, and the answer is actually quite simple. Whenever you can, you try to get sleep. You can't work it to a schedule when you're a solo sailor. And here's an example why. Uh, this may not show up, but there's, there's three fishing boats out there now, about six miles ahead of me. And uh, they are going around in erratic uh, patterns there. There's just no way I can go to sleep now. Um, so I just need to sit up and make sure that I pass those uh, three fishing boats safely. Um, so that's, uh, they're six miles away, I'm doing uh, 3.9 knots, 4 knots, you know, so there's just no way you can go to sleep <laughs> for on a schedule. So as soon as I be clear of them, then I'll look out and see if there's no further context, that's a great time. You just grab it when you can, uh, and as often as you can. Um, rather than saying, well, I'm going to go to sleep at 2 o'clock and again at 4 o'clock and again at 6, it doesn't work that way. It's just whenever you can, you go for it. Ooh. 
A little bit sporty out there today. I've been hand steering for the last uh, 45, 50 minutes. I need to put on some warmer clothes. But no problem for Isabel. Isabel is titanium. So this phases her not at all. On the other hand, I need to get warm. Well, this is the view out of my office today. Uh, the rough weather lasted all last night. Probably it wasn't that rough, 20-25 knots of wind, but uh, it did get my attention. It was good two meter waves this morning. Uh, oh, that's not even a meter, uh, 0.8 meters of waves. Not too bad. Uh, just a beautiful day actually. And uh, let me just show you what we're doing here. I've got 11 knots of apparent at uh, 50 degrees, and I'm doing five and a half knots speed over ground. Uh, now, now I'll tell you the bad news. Uh, we'll go below and I'll show you. Well, uh, a passage of this uh, from Sidera in uh, northern Spain to La Rochelle, that's a distance of 331 uh, nautical miles. That would normally take me, with a decent wind, that would take me two full days and a bit of change. But you can see here by the yellow line, the yellow line that I've been doing a lot of shifting around for the wind and tacking. And I'm tacking again. This is why tacking is so hard. It, it adds so much more distance to your, to your course. So a trip that would normally take me uh, two days and a bit is, uh, you know, I'm going to be lucky if I get there before four days. Wow. And uh, even if I wanted to put the motor on and uh, just head straight to it, the waves or the seas are from that direction too. And the seas have a very short period. If the seas have a long period, like 11 seconds or so, this boat, Isabel just loves that one, goes sail straight through it. But a period of two to four seconds, it's just bash, 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 and that cuts the, the speed going forward, even with the engine. So, uh, yeah, it might be a little faster than tacking, but uh, not a whole lot faster. It was too rough to cook last night, so I had a bowl of cereal and some potato chips for dinner. They were organic potato chips. So, I'm going to compensate for that by having a good old, some Viking food, as Eric would say. Some potatoes and a good old steak for lunch today. <laughs> the life of a solo sailor. How sad is that? Well, sunrise again over the Bay of Biscay. The weather I'm having right now has been pretty much the same story for the last 24 hours. You can see 23 knots of apparent, uh, almost close hauled, 30, 40 degrees. And I'm doing five and a half knots. I'm a little over canvassed. I've only got one reef in. Only one reef in because when I put two reefs in, there isn't enough power uh, to drive through the waves because I'm heading right into the seas as well. And uh, I lose all head speed when I put two reefs in. The boat is much more comfortable. Here I'm at, uh, it's been really uncomfortable for 24 hours. Uh, I have have, a, have a, a heel of about 20 degrees. And that's always uncomfortable, it just wears you, wears you down. But when I, put in this, when I put in the second reef and flatten the boat out and then things are more under control, I lose all head speed and I just sit here. Just over 100 miles to run and uh, a bit rough. Good morning to the fourth sunrise of this passage, which has been absolutely fascinating. Uh, four nice uh, port calls in uh, northwest Spain, and uh, just you can't see it very well yet, but uh, I'm probably about 20 25 minutes out from my home port of La Rochelle in France. But I wasn't in a hurry, and it was uh, fairly I mean, it was, it was robust winds, but uh, it was. It was blue sky, so I had a great time. This is the calm.
promised i've ever seen it here